We are the dollars and cents. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna do another unboxing first impressions update video. This time it comes from the house of Burberry. It is our latest release. Burberry Hero Eau de Parfum. I'm gonna angle it like this so you guys don't get the um the reflection there uh in your uh, in your eyes. And there's a cicada outside, so sorry if you guys hear that. It's a little loud. I did I did get this fragrance from Nordstrom. You guys probably see the sticker here on the side. Um can't remember what the price was. I think it was over 100 bucks. I'll put the price right here. Um, but yeah, it's their latest release. I will say uh, to start that I, did, I have not tried the original Hero, and I don't remember hearing that much about it. I picked this fragrance up because somebody was really raving about it. Oh, this is the best fragrance I've ever tried. You know, and in the fragrance community, lots of people do that. They'll try something and then they just really, really rave about it. And then a few weeks later, they sell it or move past this one. And the next, the next release is their favorite that they've ever tried. So. Um, but, I, you know, it's still enough to pique my interest, I guess, right? Uh, but, again, I haven't tried the original, so I won't be able to compare it to that. Uh, you guys can let me know, know, know down in the comments how they compare. Um, but, yeah, so this fragrance is called Hero Eau de Parfum from the House of Burberry, like I mentioned before. Uh, it is a men's woody, spicy fragrance released in 2022. The nose behind this fragrance is Orlean Grouchard. I think I pronounced that right. Um, and as it says, uh, it's an Eau de Parfum concentration. Um, not too much going on with this box. It, it does look like the other box in the line. Uh, nice gold color here, gold lettering, white as you can see. Uh, here is the bottle. I do like this bottle. Um, nice, heavy, sturdy glass, nice gold lettering here. Uh, I believe the other one is slightly different. I don't think it's the same shape. I think it's more of a square, I think. Don't quote me on that, but I, I think I saw a picture just before I started the video. Um, this is magnetic cap. It's not like, it's like a little of both worlds. It sticks a little bit and it's a little magnetic, but that's, you know, not a bad touch. Um, but there's something, you guys can hear that. I'm not sure if that's the lid that's loose or something in here is loose. It might just be the magnet rolling around in there. Either way, uh, good looking bottle. Very heavy, very sturdy. I do like this, um, this presentation. So the notes for Hero Eau de Parfum in the top, we have pine needles, um, and olibanum. And uh, in the mid, we have benzoin and incense, uh, or frankincense. Uh, and the base, we run things off with a lot of different cedar. I uh, don't think I've ever seen a fragrance pull out all the cedars. This one has Atlas cedar, Himalayan cedar, and Virginia cedar. So I'm going to guess this one's extremely, extremely woody. And if it's not, that's going to be a huge surprise to me, actually. Because you don't put in three cedars and it not smell like fresh uh, cedar shaved, like from a, you know, like with a saw or something. Um, but not really, not really, don't really know what to expect with this fragrance because some of these, some of these notes like pine needles, okay, yeah, so it's gonna be green and sharp maybe. Um, and the olibanum, I think it gives it a bit of, I think olibanum gives it a bit of uh, leathery type of uh, scent. I'm not sure on that 100%. Benzoin obviously is like a vanilla, so it's nice and sweet. Uh, incense, frankincense is going to be smoky and uh, and very woody. So not sure what to expect with this fragrance because this is a bit of a hodgepodge. Uh, I'm sure I, once I smell it, I'll be like, oh, yeah, it makes sense. You know, I always do that, right? Uh, hindsight's always twenty twenty. But right now, I really don't know what to expect from this fragrance. So let's give this fragrance a first impression so I can let you guys know what I think about this fragrance and if it's any good. Now, I, I will be pressed to want to try the original um, just, just so I can compare it. So I apologize, guys, that I did not try the original fragrance so I can let you guys know how, how it compares, but okay. Good sprayer on this bottle. Great sprayer. A lot of juice. Okay. Huh. Hmm. Immediately getting something that smells familiar. This reminds me a little bit of... Hmm. Man, at first I thought I was going to say date for men. Cause it's like sweet, fruity, spicy. There's, there's no fruit in this. And I looked at two different sites in this. So I don't know where this is coming from. Maybe. Yeah. At first this reminds me a lot of date for men. Um, with some fruitiness, some smokiness, some spiciness. I swear there's some citrus notes in here. Apparently there's not when it comes to the notes here. But it smells like citrus notes or apple or something fruity. Sort of reminds me of, um, oh, I will say this is very mainstream. Um, it's probably going to change in the dry down because I feel it's getting a little smoky. 
it's not as uh, cedary as I, as I assumed it would be. Maybe in the dry down, maybe in a little bit, uh, in a little while it will be. But right now it's not as cedary, as cedar heavy as I thought it would be. But it's going to hit me like a ton of bricks. But this one's, okay, so I will say, this smells nice. It smells familiar. It, there is quality here because it right now smells super strong. And uh, I'm pretty sure whenever I wear this one tonight, and I'm, I give it like a wearing, and then I'll go, then I'll go to Fragranica and see what the people compare it to. That then it'll really click. I'll be like, oh man, that's right. It does smell just like that. But right now, not really able to pinpoint what this reminds me of. Maybe even of the. the um, well, now it's getting a little leathery. It's getting smoky and a little leathery. I'm not, I can't, again, I can't remember if Olibanum gives a leather type of uh, fragrant note. Uh, if it is, that's what I'm getting. But it's definitely getting deeper and darker and a little bit balmy. But not bad. Um, this does have a mainstream feel to it, though. Um, so I'm not going to say, like, bad boy. Because um, it's a bit... It's a bit going in the animalic, leathery, stanky direction. Not a lot, just slightly. So this is definitely going to be... It's going to get your attention at first. And then when it takes that turn, that's when the users are going to go either left or right. Either you're going to, you're going to pick it up or you're going to put it down. Because it's starting to change a little bit. So it's starting to get a little bit more mature. A little bit more... Not so mainstreamy. But it's still there. I swear there'd be some um, cinnamon in this or something because I'm getting a bit of like a sweet sort of cinnamon. It's probably maybe the woody notes mixing with something in this. But yeah, it's smelling a little leathery now, which isn't a bad thing, but it's just getting more mature. When you get like sort of a bit of an animalic leather, uh, it sort of takes you in that direction. But yeah, not a bad fragrance. Definitely some quality here. Uh, I, I'm already kind of picturing where where I would what setting what weather I would wear this fragrance but again it's just the first half of the video want to give it time don't want any spoilers guys I, I want you guys to be on the edge of your seat at least for the next uh, you know 20 seconds before I go to the update here but yeah I'm gonna wear this fragrance today tonight uh might be a little might be a little too heavy for uh it's it's like 100 degrees outside so but I do this for you guys if I get any weird looks I'm doing it for you guys so Give this fragrance a wearing tonight and over the next couple of days. Give you guys something shortly. Talk to you then. Hey, what's up, guys? Just wanted to bring you guys a quick update on the Burberry Hero. Sorry it's been so long since I've um, done a video. It's been a little bit. have had a lot going on here lately, but I have been working on them. I just haven't been able to edit uh, a lot of videos. But to the update for Burberry Hero, I like this fragrance. I'm going to try to keep this as short as, short as sweet as possible. Um, I like this fragrance. Don't love it. It did remind me a little bit of Date for Men. I think I said that in the first half. Or Jeremy's Fragrance Unisex. Um, also reminded me a little bit of uh, Gentleman Parfum. The one that came in the all black bottle minus the iris. It had a lot of the Olibanum in it. It's very, it's very smoky. It's very incense -y. It's sweet. It smells fruity, but there's no fruit in this. I don't get a lot of the pine needles. Um, I get a little bit of that sort of green pininess, I guess, that pine needles brings to the table, but not a lot. Um, also, there's like three different cedars in this. To my nose, anyway, I didn't get a very cedar dominant woody note in this. It's woody, but it's not not what you would think. It's not like a Royal Oud or a Rose 31, that kind of fresh cedar. It's nothing like that. And with having three cedars, you think that it would be, but it's definitely not. Um, I honestly barely get any of the classic cedar note that uh, I've come to, to know and love. Um, but it is woody. Sweet from the benzoin. Um, it's a little smoky, a little waxy. Again, guys, if you guys, if y'all have tried Date for Men, just think of a, a less harsher, um, less stronger version of that. And you, that, this is what you're getting with Burberry Hero. Not a bad fragrance. Uh, definitely didn't last as long as the uh, as the Date for Men. This one, I did get um, six to eight hours, just depending on how many sprays. I, I will say I did wear this one a few times to work, and I, it did last eight hours. It did get very close to the skin, or closer to the skin by the six hour. Um, it did get the job done. Um, the, uh, the projection uh, was maybe about average, I guess. The first couple of hours, as with most um, fragrances, are going to be your best. 
Um, this is a Eau de Parfum version. It didn't jump off my skin, but it was better than, than most. I will say it's going to be uh, decent projection, but not beast by any, by any means. It's not going to be reaching anybody across the room. Decent little scent bubble around you, but nothing, nothing too crazy. Seasons for this fragrance, if you guys haven't guessed already, it's going to be the cooler, colder months of the year. This ha does have a fall, winter feel to it. Um, it's nice and smoky and incense-y. Again, a little bit little bit of green with the pine needles. Uh, it's sweet with the uh, benzoin. Um, yeah, you know, it's it's a, nice and thick and heavy and, and smoky. So it's going to be good for the cooler months of the year. Occasions, evening wear. Uh, I think it's going to be nice. Uh, dress down, suit and tie, maybe date night. Again, you might want to see how you, what your girl thinks about this one because I'm not really sure. To my nose anyway, I mean, lots of people like date for men. A lot of women like date for men. So if it, or unisex, if it slightly reminds me of this fragrance, then, then it's probably going to remind, uh, it's going to remind you of this one maybe. And and women love that fragrance. So I'm going to, I'm going to say that maybe, um, so women might like this one. I don't think it's going to be as much as the date, but I think this one would be great for date night evening wear. It's safe for work. I wore it to work. It didn't offend anybody. So I think you can wear it to work. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's again, it's not going to be wear these wherever you want. I'm just saying like casual. I can't see myself wearing this one casually. I think it's going to be evening wear for sure. And probably strong enough for the club. You know, you guys can let me know in the comments when you guys try this one out. Ages, I'm going to say are um, 30 and up. Uh, it's, it's, ex it's expensive. Not too bad. hundred mil. I think it was like 120. I'll put the price here, but, um, yeah, I mean, I think it's uh, 30 and up. You can pull this one off. I think the incense might turn younger noses off. I think the price might turn younger noses off. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty different composition. This almost has a niche uh, quality type of thing going for it. You don't smell this type of fragrance every day. Um, I did get like a leathery type of fragrance from this, even though I, I believe from the notes that I have, there's no leather in this. But I still stand by saying that there, there's a leather vibe to this. Um, slightly that I don't think younger noses will like, uh, either. Um, yeah, like I said, the price, the, the price is, might be a factor for the younger guys to, um, overall. Okay. Fragrance. I, I'm not going to keep this fragrance or I'm not going to suggest you guys run out there and, and, uh, blind buy this one. I think you should try it. If you're at Nordstrom or whoever's carrying some Dillard's, I'm sure it's going to be at most, um, most retailers at the mall. Um, I wish I would have tried the original so I can really compare it to that, but sadly I didn't have a sample of that one. Um, but it's not a not a bad fragrance. But if you've tried um, Date for Men or um, Gentlemen Only uh, Parfum, the one that had the iris, the one that smells sort of like the own minus the iris note, you you might if you like those, you might like this one. But then again, if you like those and you have them, this might be a redundant purchase. Not really sure. Um, but again, not a bad fragrance. I wasn't wowed. Uh, I wasn't you know I, when I wore it, I didn't really. I wasn't really looking forward to wearing it again. I wasn't really going like, oh man, I wish I can't wait to wear that fragrance one more time. I'm gonna put it on. It's gonna make me feel good. No, just it's just kind of there, and it's probably because I do own the date and because I've had I've tried other fragrances. This reminds me of that. It's just nothing special for me. I will suggest you guys going out and trying this one though. Maybe you guys like it. I think the guy on Facebook might have not have tried the ones that I'm comparing this one to. So maybe he was just super excited to smell something with good quality because this is good quality. It's a decent quality fragrance. Has decent performance. Um, not a bad price. It could have been way more. Um, but you know, again, I'm going to pass on this one for now. And you guys let me know if you guys have tried this one. Uh, let me know your thoughts on it. Do you guys like it, love it, or hate it? Let me know your thoughts on this uh, fragrance in the comments below. Cause I'd love to hear what you guys are thinking about this one, guys. But thank you guys so much for watching my video on my channel. If you like this video, please click that like button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification for future first impressions videos and first sighted content just like this, guys. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, dollars and cents. There, you'll find first sighted photos and future contest winners. And as always, until next video, you guys take care. Thanks.